Hello, welcome inside the mind of Matt. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my pictures to print them into a 3D printed lithophane. I'm going to be using a free program called GIMP. If you'd like to see how I do it, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So in one of my previous videos on how to make lithophanes with Simplify 3Ds, I made a couple of mistakes and I learned from them and I set out to kind of tweak them and come up with a solution and I'm here to share them. Well the first thing that I discovered is that the lithophane base that I designed myself, uh, which I put on Thingiverse, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. To, check it out there and download and print it if you like it uh, but the gap that I made was three millimeters and when I was bringing it into Simplify 3D I was setting the base at 0.5 millimeters and the rest of it at three millimeters which equals 3.5 and that's why you see at the end of the video that I kind of struggled and things didn't fit in there quite right and it was it was a it was a learning experience to say the least but anyways my thought was that I could make a border around it that was solid and that should fix it so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do so first let's take a picture so now that we have the picture we'll open up GIMP so now that we have GIMP open we'll bring our picture in Okay, so now that we have the picture in, first thing I like to do is go ahead and convert it to grayscale. Go under image, mode, and then grayscale. So next what I'll do is I'll go under tools and selection tool, go to, to the rectangular select, hotkey is also R, and I'll start to select an area. Now I'm printing 100 by 100 millimeters, so I want this image to be even, both the height as well as the width. With GIMP, you can kind of fine tune it. Get these two numbers to match a little bit. And the thing about adding a border is you want to make sure that you got a little bit of you know, space around the edges of the image. but. For this is just a demonstration purpose, so we'll just live with this picture. So now that I've got my selection selected, I'll go up to image and then crop to selection. So next let's create the border. I'll go with the selection tool, the rectangular selection tool again. I'll go up in the corner and I'll select and leaving myself a little border. Once you do it, you can kind of fine tune the size, kind of get it even. If you look over here, it still gives you the size, so you can kind of even it up like that. I'll go to my select and I'll invert. Now it's actually selecting the outside border. I'll go to edit and I'll cut it. And then I will use my fill tool bucket tool, the hot key to it, bucket tool, shift B. I'll select on the area, the color I'm using is black, and there I have a border. So next you want to select all, and then go into your color, and then your brightness and contrast, and kind of make some adjustments at that point. You'll try on an error. I've found that around 15 and 15 kind of gives me a little bit, but depending on the picture, you can play with it. I like that. So the only other thing with GIMP is in order to save it, you actually are exporting as, and I will 
not overwrite the other picture, but we'll call this black and white. I always bump the quality up to 100%. And there you go. So the next thing would be to import this into Simplify 3D with the proper settings and print it. So what do you say we print a, a lithopane of me? How about a little time lapse? So this finished up. Let's uh, take it off the build plate. Snaps right off my raft. Let's take this right over to the lie and see how it looks. Nice border. So that's how I prepare my pictures before I print them into a 3D printed lithophane. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you if you're one of my subscribers, but if you're not one of my subscribers, please consider subscribing. And if you do, hit that notification and you'll know when my next video is coming out. Also, all those that let the ads play, I really appreciate the support. Check out all the links I have down my affiliate, all my social media. Check me out on all of those as well. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, make sure you leave them down in the comment section. Thanks again everybody for stopping inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing and be safe pouring.